yours, Miss Purple Girl. Yeah, I know when I hold you like this, it's so weird. There we go. Okay, she is seven weeks old and she's from Beatrice and Leopold's F1 Standard Bernadilla litter. She is eight pounds, 10 ounces. She's the, oh, she's wagging her tail. Good job, babe, good job. She um, is the largest girl in the litter and medium for her weight um, compared with everybody else. I expect her to be um, around 70 pounds when she matures as an adult. And she is another one of our sable puppies. She is a tri-sable. So you can see she's got the brown, black, and the white with um, the white on the back tips of her feet, a little tiny bit on the front. She's got the white chest and the white tip on her cute tail. And then also the white muzzle and the white blaze. She's a little bit darker than Mr. Green with her sable color. So her undercoat is not quite as light as his, but the same thing. She will also, um, she'll be darker when her hair is long. And if she's clipped down short, then she will look much, much lighter because her undercoat is a lighter. I should say the undercoat, the beginning of her hair is a little bit lighter. Um, this girl's got a really nice light root wave on her coat, which I expect to remain um, that way where it's going to just be that nice light wave that um, makes it a little bit easier for grooming, which will need to be at least two times per year. She has a medium to low energy. Uh, this girl is pretty content to be on her own. She doesn't feel like she needs to get into the mix with all of her siblings when something's going on, but I love it because she'll just sit back and just watch, but then when I call her, she's always happy to come. So she definitely loves to be around people. She just doesn't feel like she needs to basically be a part of all the melee that happens sometimes. She's got a little sensitive soul. Um, I think that's part of her um, sensitivity is why she's so observant and likes to just sit back and watch. She's also submissive in nature. Um, so this girl is not somebody uh, that, you know, we shouldn't be yelling at our puppies anyways, but sometimes in our frustration, we might raise our voice. And typical to the Bernese nature, that is not something that competes with them at all. They just freeze. And that's what she shows. Um, not that there's yelling going on, but when she's introduced to something new, she will just get down on the ground and just sit and kind of feel it out and observe it for a while. That's her natural tendency. So um, when she's introduced to new things, it shouldn't be something that's forced upon her, but something that she's given time to allow and just encouragement. And then she moves right along with it really easy. And I think she's also been really great and easy to train because she is paying so much attention. I just go about it in a little bit different way um, than I do with some of her litter mates. It's not necessarily quite a direct training, just a little bit more encouragement, which works out great. She would do good in a home um, with kids, but they would need to be at least um, 10 years old or older because again, with, with the sounds and all the motion and everything, because she is so sensitive, it would be a little bit too much for her as a puppy. And so she would do great with other dogs. She would do great um, having an active lifestyle or just being able to hang out in the house or a good mix of both. She's um, pretty content um, to just be with you and whatever it is you're doing, again, provided that she's got a little bit of time um, to get used to that before she jumps right on into it. And with all of that, I do have to say that she is, and she is confident. She was the first one to come through the doggy door. And when I do introduce something new to her, uh, she's confident with it, I think more because she trusts me and knows that I am. And so it's only that I've noticed when, and it's something with other people that she's not too familiar with, then that's when her sensitivity comes in. Yeah, good girl. All right, should we do one more close up? And there's the real purple girl.